Alrighty, welcome back everyone. Scarland here, right here, that's me, uh, bringing you a new Neverwinter video today. Now, this is down the road, right? Uh, we're taking a break from the typical preview stuff. We're actually going to do a little sneak peek of the new Lyral event. Now, of course, it's not new, it's just updated, right? The celebration of Lyral, aka is... Uh, the 4th of July event in Neverwinter. It's been around for numerous, numerous years. I have videos of it on my channel. Now, I'm not going to go into depth uh, and go over the whole thing. I'll probably make a whole separate video on that. However, there are new rewards that I'm going to highlight today. Some of you might be excited about them. Some, some of you might not care, but... Uh, there is a whole rework. Again, I'm not going to go into this all. I'm not going to read this word for word because it is subject to change. Now, if you do want to access this, this is not on the normal preview server, okay? This is actually on Owlbear. Owlbear is their internal testing server, usually with the alpha testers uh, test the game on. However, when the Owlbear isn't closed off to the alpha testers, uh, normal everyday people like myself can actually uh, get involved and get on there. So this is on Owlbear. It's not the normal preview server. Uh, we're going to jump in game. I'm going to show you guys the new rewards. Uh, and then that's really about it. Like I said, I'm not going to read this word for word. I will leave the link uh, in the description. So we will have the link for you guys to read through this if you so choose. Uh, it's all subject to change. Uh, I mean, it's very early. We're talking about uh, several weeks down the road. As of filming this video, it is June 10th. Uh, we still have to get through the Jubilee. So my Jubilee videos will be coming out anything before the celebration of Lyral. So you have until uh, the first week, maybe even the second week of July before we start seeing this. So let's go ahead. We're going to jump into Owlbear. I'm going to show you the new setup and the new items, and then we'll wrap things up. All right, guys, and here we are on the Owlbear server. So let's go ahead and just run around real quick. So they moved the platform. The actual event right now is where the normal events are. Remember, this platform used to be all the way over here in the corner. So they've moved the platform now. So this is not here. It's actually where the events are. Hello? Hello, Enyo. Shout out to Enyo. <laughs> so let's go ahead and look at the items here. We'll go to the store. So we have a new fashion set. The Cosmic Captain's uh, Tricorn, Cosmic Captain's Coat, and the Cosmic Captain's Boots. So this is a pirate outfit, guys. I actually have it on. So there we go. I don't know if these particle effects are going to stay. If you like look, they, it kind of glistens a little bit. Uh, but it is pirate hat fashion. It is a tricorn. So pirate Horton, uh, pirate fashion, guys. There you go. So that is the new fashion item. Yippee skippy. And now the big boy. Here's the big boy. Cosmic pig. Yes. Yes, you heard that right, folks. Cosmic pig. Uh... So this is actually kind of funny to me because this was a meme by the community. The, the community has been asking Julia and the other developers for quite a significant amount of time now. I would say over a year, uh, maybe even more than a year of giving us a cosmic pig. Okay. And they did it. All right. They actually did it. They never listened to us regarding any of the important issues in the game. But when we asked for a cosmetic mount, uh... I guess they thought it would uh, be nice to have. So here, here it is. The Cosmic Pig. I kid you not, folks. I kid you not. This is real. This is real life. So the new mount skin for the 4th of July celebration is going to be the Cosmic Pig. Uh, it is uh, maximum hit points and movement speed. And then it has the AoE, the generic AoE uh, explosive equalizer on it. So there you have it, folks. Uh, Cosmic Pig. Now there is another new bell. We have the new bell. This is increases your companion's recharge speed by 20%. Now is this going to be a valid item? Yeah, probably not. Like if you're using Zuna on A or E or something, I don't see you using this bell and taking up a very valuable potion tray slot for a 20% cooldown uh, on her like bloodbath for AOE and even if you're using it single target with like you know the cold iron warrior or uh, you know the mercenary or uh, the air archon you're, you're not going to really use this bell I don't think I, I honestly don't think you know it has a 
what, two minute cooldown? Is that right? 120 seconds? That's two minutes, right? So it has a two minute cooldown for a 20% recharge speed for your companion's abilities. Do I think this is worthwhile personally? Most likely not. It's not going to come close to the Bell of Empowerment, which actually gives your companion a 20% DPS buff. So if you time the bells right when your companion's doing his special encounter, you're talking about a nice little uh, DPS chunk increase. So the new bell, yeah, it's whatever. If you want to use it, then you be my guest. Uh, another new item is going to be the emote for toast. Uh, I believe this one, the sparkler one, was last year. Uh, the toast one is this year. Uh, draw a shape in the night air with a uh, sparkler, I guess. I don't know. Whatever. It's an emote. Do, do we care about emotes? Do you guys care about emotes? Because there's a new one. Here you go. Uh, now, I believe they updated the barbecue meat to actually coincide with the changes right now. Barbecue meat's actually pretty useless on the live servers as it is. Uh, but now they've kind of updated it to a degree. So instantly heals hit points and removes any harm-filled damaging effects such as poison. Uh, if you're below level 60, it heals 75% of your hit points up to a maximum of, uh, what's that say, 90k? Uh, between level 60 to 7, uh, 60 to 70 rather, 75% up to 160k. And then at level 70 through 80, 75% of your hit points up to uh, 375k. So, and it costs 15 currency. So they did upgrade currency. You're going to get more currency than you did previously. However, 15 currency for one of these, is it going to be worth it? Probably not. I mean, you can use Stone of Health. You can use Healing Potions. I mean, is this item going to be valid? Mm, probably not. You're, you're talking about only 375,000 HP on a level 80 character. I know tanks are pushing million plus. 1 million plus HP. Even as a DPS character, I have like 650,000. So you're only going to get 75% of your maximum HP up to 375k. So if we can justify the, the cost of the favor of being 15 and you farming this food for a extra healing potion or whatever the case may be, I don't see it being very valid to be completely honest so that's the updates guys i'm not going to get into the actual event itself the event has changed a little bit uh i'm going to save that for the actual real video this is just a highlighting video of showing you guys the new rewards again this is still over a month away so just wanted to show the updated rewards because it did just come out today so here is the cosmic pig he does change colors and everything so Hopefully you enjoy it. That's all I got for you today. Just a small little video highlighting the new rewards from Celebration of Lyral. Uh, we'll do a more formal video when this actually releases because uh, now that the event has changed, I'll have to redo the guide for it and everything else. So that's all I got for you. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Remember to smash that thumbs up button. Really helps the YouTube algorithm. Really helps the channel grow. Cost absolutely nothing to you other than you moving your finger and hitting the button. So go ahead and do that for me. Really appreciate it. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, and concerns, go ahead and leave them below. Let's have some feedback discussion on this. Are you excited for the uh, Cosmic Pig or do you simply not care? Uh, yeah, that's all I got for you. I'll see you guys real soon.